you may already have seen a demonstration of variable offset face new in NX11 using a sheet body as the input. In this demonstration we will now look at variable offset face when working with solid bodies. One of the settings in variable offset face is the body output type whether the offset is going to be applied as a new body or whether it's going to be applied to the original body. In this instance we're going to change the output to work on the original body. The next step is to select the geometry that we want to offset, in this case a series of tangent faces. We then select geometry that define our boundary regions. We then are able to input the desired offset value either by typing in the value or if you want to you can actually use the arrows to drag the geometry to the desired depth. You'll notice that at any stage we can go back in and modify the offset distance to suit the values that we want. You can also see that the preview is being performed on the solid body itself and not just as an offset surface. So you're going to get a true representation of what your final solid body with the variable offset is going to look like. You have control over the continuity between individual regions. In this case we're going to move from a simple offset to a bridge continuity. We then apply the same continuity to another region. And we can also change it from either being a connected continuity to a tangent continuity, allowing a smooth transition. We can continue to make modifications. In this particular instance, we're just going to reduce the thickness in this specific area. So here we have our final variable offset face that has been performed on a solid body maintaining the original body. So let's see what happens if we want to make a modification. We make our current feature the one prior to the variable offset face. We then create a new region boundary using a sketch. In this instance we'll sketch it through the hole in the middle of the part. We set the variable offset face back as being the current feature and then we edit with rollback which allows us to assign a new region boundary. This time we will use the sketch itself. Notice how the variable offset is actually being performed through the middle of the hole. We can change the size, the depth. Notice how all of the other conditions are maintained. And there we have our completed variable offset part that was performed directly on a solid body.